Charities is the official domestic relief agency of the United States Catholic Church. Supporting numerous disasters each year, Catholic Charities provides services to anyone in need, regardless of gender, race, or religious beliefs. This training is one in a series of modules intended for the use of leadership, management, staff, and volunteers of Catholic Charities USA, local Catholic Charities agencies, and community parishes and churches. It explains and provides the Catholic Charities USA Concept of Disaster Operations, or CONOPS, document. A CONOPS document describes the characteristics of a system similar to an overview to help stakeholders gain general knowledge on how that system operates. In this training, Catholic Charities USA has presented a CONOP for disaster operations. The CONOPS document is available separately on the Catholic Charities USA members portal. Referring to the CONOPS document and participating in this training will enable you to explain the ministry and roles of Catholic Charities agencies and Catholic Charities USA in disasters, describe how Catholic Charities USA and affected local agencies coordinate and collaborate to achieve unity of effort to provide the best support to disaster survivors, identify organizations with whom local Catholic Charities agencies can coordinate during disaster events, identify disaster services a local Catholic Charities agency may offer to disaster survivors, identify functions Catholic Charities agencies perform in order to provide disaster services, and understand how disaster recovery can be an opportunity to move from charity to justice. The Resources folder includes a copy of the CONOPS and any resource links, forms, and job aids mentioned in this video. When viewing the video, stop and play back at any time if you want to review. When you see this screen, before we move on, followed by a question, pause the video and think about or discuss how the content relates to your agency and your role. The Ministry of Catholic Charities in a Disaster is to serve individuals, families, and communities impacted by disaster events, particularly those that lack sufficient resources to recover. Catholic Charities ultimately seeks to strengthen the resilience of individuals, families, and communities before during and after disaster events. This training spotlights Catholic Charities as both an early response and long-term recovery agency. As such, we will focus on the response and recovery phases of disaster management. The phases of preparedness and mitigation are discussed in more detail in the Catholic Charities USA online learning course, Disaster Basics. A link to the Disaster Basics training video can be found in the Resources folder. Before we move on, here are a few questions to consider. How would you explain the Ministry of Catholic Charities and Disasters? How are your disaster activities consistent with the Catholic Charities Mission and Disaster Ministry? Catholic Charities agencies across the country provide help and create hope for more than 10 million people each year. The foundation of all Catholic Charities disaster activities is the unwavering commitment to uphold human dignity and to serve anyone who is in need, particularly those who are poor and vulnerable. Catholic Charities USA resources and assistance are always provided to support when requested by a local Catholic Charities agency. 
Catholic Charities USA never independently decides on what needs to be done within a local agency, diocese, or community, because all disasters are local. The affected agency is in charge of its own response and recovery efforts. The Catholic Charities USA Disaster Operations Staff is ready to support local agencies before, during, and after disasters. When an agency knows in advance that a disaster event is likely to impact its community, for example, a hurricane, Catholic Charities USA may even reach out and offer assistance proactively prior to the hurricane landfall. Catholic Charities USA Disaster Operations offer a wide range of help to local affected agencies. For example, technical assistance with identifying disaster priorities and developing response and recovery strategies. Catholic Charities USA can provide financial resources to agencies. Short-term grants of up to $10,000 and immediate response financial gifts are available as resources allow. Larger, long-term recovery grants may be offered when funds are available and agencies meet the announced qualifying parameters. Additional information about each type of financial resource can be found in the Resources folder. In addition to technical assistance and grants, Catholic Charities USA can provide brand and visibility supplies, such as disaster response branded shirts, hats, car magnets, and banners to help responders and clients easily identify Catholic Charities staff. The Catholic Charities USA website and YouTube channel also offer just-in-time training such as this video. To gain entry to the Members Portal and Resource Center, access the Catholic Charities USA website and click on For Member Agencies. If an affected agency is interested, Catholic Charities USA can arrange peer mentoring virtual or in-person, where the disaster-affected agency can team up with other agencies that have successfully responded to similar events. When multiple Catholic Charities agencies are affected by a geographically dispersed disaster, Catholic Charities USA can provide interagency coordination with other affected agencies, national partners, and appropriate federal officials. Catholic Charities USA can also leverage established relationships with national partners to obtain assistance from national voluntary organizations active in disaster, state VOADs, St. Vincent de Paul Disaster Services Corporation, federal agencies, and others. Catholic Charities USA operates a nationwide deployment program to provide trained Catholic Charities staff from unaffected agencies to assist their disaster-affected agencies. Other Catholic Charities member agencies are frequently ready and willing to deploy their own staff to help. The assistance of Catholic Charities Network of Agencies, which is coordinated through Catholic Charities USA, means local affected agencies will never go without receiving the support they need. Catholic Charities USA can also deploy the Mobile Response Center vehicle and Laundry Trailer vehicle to agencies that would like to provide added services to their disaster response. The phone number for Catholic Charities USA Disaster Operations is 703-549-1390 and the email address is disasteroperations at catholiccharitiesusa.org. Before we move on, here are a few questions you should consider. What kind of support would your agency anticipate needing from Catholic Charities USA? and the other member agencies of the Catholic Charities Network. Have you established contact with anyone in Catholic Charities USA disaster operations?
Working closely with partners is the best way to utilize limited resources to help disaster survivors in need. The statement that all disasters are local means Catholic Charities agencies can be assured that local stakeholders will be among the first to engage a response and remain throughout the long-term recovery process. This includes your local government, who will be a critical participant in any disaster event. A local government often relies on its non-governmental partners to assist in meeting citizens' post-disaster needs. As disaster operational activities ramp up, affected agencies contact their local emergency manager or emergency management office to discuss and coordinate the respective roles of the Catholic Charities and the local government during response and recovery. The state coordinates emergency management activities involving more than one community and assists individual communities when they need help, such as National Guard resources. Catholic Charities agencies may have sunny day relationships with state agencies responsible for housing, health, and social services, and those contacts are valuable in addressing post-disaster needs. Like local government, the state often relies on partners, such as Catholic Charities, to deliver services to disaster survivors. This may include distributing emergency supplies, assisting in shelters, and providing disaster casework and case management services. When the governor requests and the president grants a major disaster declaration from the federal government, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, coordinates its own assistance programs as well as those of multiple federal agencies. Catholic Charities agencies respond to disasters regardless of federal and state declarations and do not need a FEMA declaration in order to organize a response. Catholic Charities agencies access federal information and resources through local government or the FEMA Voluntary Agency Liaisons, VALS, in declared disaster areas. FEMA VALS support the contributions of voluntary, faith-based, and community stakeholders active in disaster by building relationships and coordinating efforts across partner organizations and government agencies. The VALS continue this coordination during the full disaster life cycle, including potential roles in long-term recovery. The resources folder includes a link to the FEMA page that explains how FEMA supports the coordination of voluntary efforts and donations management before, during, and after disasters. Communication networks among voluntary agencies are critical during a disaster and are best developed during sunny days. These networks are not the same in every community. Some communities have a physical place where everyone agrees to meet at a specific time period after an event. Networks may maintain a list of current names, addresses, and phone numbers, or a website that can be activated on short notice. Your resources folder includes a link to the website for the National VOAB webpage. It lists every member agency and what kind of services they typically offer in communities. VOADs will convene more frequently following disasters. State VOADs will hold additional statewide calls to assist with informational awareness, identify unmet needs, and determine what resources are available as organizations mobilize to support the needs in multiple counties across a given state. Before we move on, here are a few questions to consider. With which government disaster organizations have you interacted? What VOAD member organizations are located in your community? Well, every disaster is different, 
There are broad operational tasks that local Catholic Charities agencies carry out in virtually every disaster response. As soon as possible after the event, a post-disaster assessment is performed to determine the extent of disaster damage, what services are needed by disaster survivors and what resources the affected local agency can provide. This process is greatly facilitated by the efforts the agency put into the pre-disaster planning process, including pre-disaster assessment. The first assessment task is to look at the disaster's impact on the agency's staff and facilities, the diocese, and the overall community you serve. It takes into account the characteristics, vulnerabilities, and resources of affected populations and their post-disaster needs. The assessment process also helps to determine what other community partners are involved in the disaster response and the resources they will be providing to meet survivors' needs. Partner engagement, resource availability, and community engagement will be very different when no presidential declaration is provided. Catholic Charities USA makes a rapid post-disaster impact assessment and planning tool available to all agencies. The tool will help the affected agency to identify and prioritize important tasks in order to develop an appropriate response plan. Many times, local and state emergency management, as well as other VOAD partners, may have information to share that can inform and expedite your assessment process. Based on the post-disaster assessment results, the affected agency determines what services are needed and what it can offer. The agency develops disaster operation priorities and a strategy for accomplishing them. Catholic Charities USA can be particularly helpful to local agencies at this time. It can provide its experience and information about available resources and other partner services that can be factored into the strategy. Each Catholic Charities agency is unique, and it is said no two agencies are alike. The same holds true during a disaster response. Affected agencies may offer disaster services according to their post-disaster assessment. Access to resources, directions from the local bishop or board, and plans developed with local partners. Not every agency offers the same post-disaster services. Some types of assistance include cleanup, and debris removal, distributing commodities and gift cards, information, and referral services, disaster casework and disaster case management, sheltering, feeding, home mucking and gutting, home repairs, home rebuilds, and providing spiritual care, mental health services, home visits, and delivery of care. Before we move on, Here's a few questions to consider. Who in your agency has the training or experience to perform a post-disaster assessment? Who has experience in developing disaster operations priorities and the strategy for accomplishing them? What response and or recovery disaster services can your agency offer if needed? Agency staff, volunteers, and sometimes deployed staff from the Catholic Charities membership deliver the services identified in the Disaster Operations Strategy. These disaster services require the performance of particular job functions that may or may not be similar to daily staff responsibilities. As you listen to the descriptions of these functions, think about whether you have staff and volunteers to perform them. Disaster Casework Intake In the immediate aftermath of a hazard event, 
an affected agency may receive an influx of requests for assistance from both current clients and other disaster survivors. These circumstances can create an immediate increased need for both staff and volunteers to answer phones, return calls, and respond to in-person requests. Welcome, this is Cynthia Colbert. I'm the President and CEO of Catholic Charities. And I'm here today to give you a tour of Disaster Relief Central here at Catholic Charities 2900, Louisiana. We've turned our main building into a disaster relief center and we are so thankful for all the volunteers and the donors who've helped us serve the many, many victims of this uh, flood and there are many more to come. In fact, when we opened offices on Thursday, our first day of operation for disaster relief, 1,300 people were served, more on Friday, and as you'll see in a minute, more today. So come with me and I'll show you what we're doing. This is our office here. Normally, this would be a, uh, a receptionist area and a lobby, but today it is a center for client services. To my left, you will see that the volunteers are doing intake with disaster victims to assess their needs. Here we provide uh, direct financial assistance through um, gift cards and we have our staff and volunteers helping with that. Uh, come with me and here we've set up our training room to be a donation site and here uh, the clients, the guests that we're serving are able to get uh, food and other items, and this was all generously donated by people not here, just here in Texas and Harris County, but around the country. While people are waiting, this is the group who's waiting to come in. At some point, um, they'll be uh, received with an intake. They filled out their forms while they're sitting down, so we know what their needs are and the number of people in their families. And then they're seen by an intake caseworker, and then they can go get their donations. When Catholic Charities agencies have the resources to offer disaster case management to assist survivors through long-term recovery, the intake work may become the basis for longer-term assistance. A sample of an immediate needs intake form and additional samples of long-term assistance forms are included in the resources folder. A link to the online training, Preparing for Disaster Case Management is also included in the Resources folder. Outreach and Information Dissemination Effective information sharing is critical to ensure successful and equitable disaster assistance to those in need. This function includes outreach to partner agencies, parishes, and other community leadership to share information and confirm plans for providing disaster services to survivors. Media Communications Important information about disaster services and resources can be widely distributed by coordinating with traditional media outlets and by keeping social media platforms up to date. Disaster Fundraising. The post-disaster assessment and strategy may identify numerous and unplanned needs that require resources beyond what an agency has readily available. If a financial shortfall is anticipated, it will be necessary for the agency to engage disaster fundraising. Local agency fundraising involves identifying and reaching out to potential donors and community supporters who may be able to offer in-kind products and or substantial donations or grants to support the agency's response and recovery efforts. In larger disasters, when the president approves a federal declaration, available resources are more varied and numerous. An agency may require help in identifying the federal programs available and sifting through available program eligibility guidance. Volunteers Management Most agencies have a system for screening, training, and managing volunteers that assist Catholic Charities throughout the year. Disaster events oftentimes create additional volunteer management requirements, such as developing specialized job descriptions, recruiting and mobilizing additional volunteers, 
and training volunteers for jobs they have not previously performed. The function of facilitating volunteer background checks, completing liability forms, and maintaining a volunteer database will be greater in a disaster response. Points of Distribution Catholic Charities agencies often partner with other agencies to obtain commodities, volunteers, equipment, and facilities needed for distribution of basic supplies to disaster survivors. These initiatives also require staff to perform site selection and management, safety and traffic control, sorting and distribution, outreach to donors and to the public, and tracking of recipients' donated goods and volunteer hours. To learn more about this function, refer to the Resources folder, which has a link to Catholic Charities USA online just-in-time training, Establishing and Managing Points of Distribution. Donations Management, Warehousing, and Logistics When a local agency is collecting goods for distribution to disaster survivors, Donations management becomes an important post-disaster agency function. Either Catholic Charities or a partner agency provides warehousing space and staff capacity to store, manage, and distribute donated items. Once collected, loose goods require sorting, and donated pallets of goods may need to be dismantled for repackaging. Donations tracking. Accurate record keeping is a critical aspect of effectively implementing an affected agency's disaster strategy. This function involves establishing a system for donor intent by creating and retaining records of incoming donated goods and funds, maintaining a reliable inventory, and tracking distribution both for effective delivery of services and for accountability. Business Continuity With or without a disaster, Catholic Charities is a professional, nonprofit organization that operates essential services in their communities. During disaster events, an agency's pre-existing priorities and functions can easily be superseded by the priority tasks of a disaster. Having a continuity of operations plan will assist agency leadership to seek alternatives and adjust daily operations in order to maintain a business structure during moments of adverse circumstances. For example, maintaining communications with employees, ensuring essential functions can continue, data backup and backup power plans, communications equipment are operational, and all business functions are supported. Before we move on, here are a few questions to consider. Which of the disaster operations functions is your agency best equipped to accomplish? What functional capabilities do you need to improve? Governmental and non-governmental agencies establish facilities to better coordinate disaster services. Multi-Agency Resource Centers With or without a federal disaster declaration, non-governmental organizations may establish a multi-agency resource center, or MARC. In a MARC, Catholic Charities agencies can provide access to their services and initiate the intake process alongside and collaboration with other non-governmental organizations. The facility where both federal and state disaster workforces are located is called a Joint Field Office, or JFO. Following the Federal Disaster Declaration, a JFO is established within or near the disaster impacted area. FEMA coordinates federal disaster assistance with state officials in the JFO, and senior officials from a variety of other federal agencies are represented. 
Even if voluntary agencies like Catholic Charities are not required to be present at the JFO, the Catholic Charities Executive Director may wish to establish a relationship with senior JFO officials. Depending on the severity of the disaster event and the level of Catholic Charities engagement, such relationships with federal, state, and JFO officials may be a long-term affiliation. Disaster Recovery Centers, or DRCs, are state, federal, temporary facilities that are established when a federal disaster declaration includes individual assistance. The purpose of the DRCs is to provide disaster survivors with access to the wide variety of services available from federal, state, and local governments, as well as non-governmental disaster relief partners. Catholic Charities may want to be represented in the DRC to inform survivors about its programs. Long-Term Recovery Committee or Group Any affected community may form a Long-Term Recovery Committee or Group. The LTRC or LTRG facilitates interagency sharing of validated unmet client needs and the human and financial resources to meet those needs. Catholic Charities agencies routinely focus on helping the most vulnerable in their community recover from the disaster event and are key players in this organization. At the end of disaster response and recovery operations, local Catholic Charities agencies conduct an after-action review, or hot wash, and invite Catholic Charities USA and other partners to participate. This practice helps all stakeholders assess what worked well, what can be improved, and how to be more ready to respond to the next disaster. Before we move on, here are a few questions to consider. For what other events or initiatives does your agency conduct a hot wash or after action review? Can the format be modified for use in reflecting on your agency's performance in a disaster operation? The overarching Catholic Charities focus on poverty reduction brings to life the fact that disasters disproportionately affect persons in poverty. Special consideration and priorities are needed to address the unique circumstances of the poor and to work toward reducing systemic poverty. Disasters provide an opportunity for change and for rebuilding as stronger families and communities. Catholic charities can be the catalyst for this change by utilizing the disaster response to engage the whole community in projects, policies, and activities that go beyond charity and focus on social justice. This training has explained the Catholic Charities USA concept of disaster operations, or CONOPS, which is available separately on the Catholic Charities USA member portal. A copy is also available in the resources folder for this training. If you have any questions about how this CONOPS applies to your agency, email disasteroperations at catholiccharitiesusa.org or call Catholic Charities USA at 703-549-1392.